Hey y'all, it's me, Darkberry32, and it's Friday, and I'm leaving work. And um, I know you guys probably missed my video on last week. Um, I didn't do one actually. I um, I um, when we went to San Antonio, what two weekends ago? I actually left my battery charger for my camera at the hotel and they were kind enough to find it they actually found it and they mailed it to me so that's why I didn't really record anything last weekend because I felt like if I started recording then I would um, if I started recording then I would have uh, my battery would have ran out and I couldn't finish recording so anyway, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, Earl and I are going to go to the movies tonight. Um, we're going to see Birth of a Nation. Now I heard all the, I, I found out about some controversy with that movie. The actor, I believe, the lead actor in that movie, something about he committed rape or something like that. Um, that's very, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Um, so I don't know. Um, I know Earl wanted to see it, and he's already purchased the ticket, so we're going to go see it anyway. Um, but I also want to see Girl on a Train. And I'm hoping that we do a double a double header um, tonight. Because we did one last weekend. We actually saw Magnificent Seven. Uh, Magnificent Seven was good. And we saw uh, When the Bow Breaks. That was pretty good, too. Even though you kind of know how it's going to turn out and all that kind of stuff so yeah but yeah I just want to let you guys know that that we're gonna actually go do that and then this weekend I have a I have a car wash actually the booster club with the high school and the cheerleaders were um, all going out and washing cars but I don't know if I'm gonna video too much of it no number available press you connect phone button and say text message to read it somebody is text messaging me honey oh but anyway um yeah guys so we're gonna go and see that go see those two movies tonight or one at least and i'm gonna try to talk them into seeing another one tonight so we will see how it goes i will talk to you guys later <laughs> okay so we just got finished eating <laughs> as you can hear we went and ate um, Tita's Tacos, the best tacos in Texas, and it happens to be in our area. Um, oh, you know what they do for the ping pong game? Mr. Nichols is in charge of them, right? So they don't have like barbecue and crispy and stuff like that, like potato salad and coleslaw. Greedy. We just ate two tacos each, and she talked about it. Anyway, we're getting ready to go to the mall. Not for anything special. I wanted to get my ring clean because we did. We were washing cars earlier. Not like I actually washed. I did mostly drying, but still, I need to get both of my rings cleaned. And then I want. I kind of want to go to Francesca's for some reason. I'm in the mood to look for something like that. And Kayla's kind of like tagging along. Who are you gonna get? Are you gonna get me for one of those thing? She's just gotta get her nails done. That's it. I really just want some makeup. <laughs> Every time we go somewhere, she wants makeup. We, yes. we got tons of makeup. Hey, if y'all want Kayla to start doing makeup tutorials, because she's really good. Y'all want her to start doing makeup tutorials. Do you want to do it on your own channel or on my channel? No. She wants to start doing it on my channel. Yeah. So if y'all want her to do makeup tutorials, please comment below or thumbs up. If I get a lot of thumbs up and a lot of comments below, because the girl can do some makeup. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I want y'all to kind of see what she does and if y'all interested in seeing what she does, you know Go on and comment below so she can go ahead and do her thing and I'll have her doing that on the regular Because she's at home a little bit more than I am and she'll have access to the camera too Because I don't take the camera with me to work so she can be doing that um, Probably in the mornings on Saturday mornings, you know because she tries to put on makeup wherever she goes except for when we do car washes We both I only put on a little bit of light makeup. Oh, and I did I did that little thing you told me to do Oh, excuse me. With the, good Lord. I know. That is that Sprite. Um, I mix my foundation with my um, 
with my moisturizer. Yeah, I know I should have looked at the thing. I wasn't thinking. Because I wanted it kind of light. Oh, why you Because, oh, that's right. Shoot. You ain't supposed to be stopping. We keep doing this force of habit. Where do I want to go in at? I need to go by. Oh, before we go home, I got to go see this. I got the two Unless I get some eyelash glue in here, but okay. I really like the eyelash glue. It's the beauty spot. Okay, so we can go ahead and pick that up. Alright, guys, we're pulling into the mall. <coughs> I love the arrow's pointing at you. Sure. The arrow's pointing at you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you goofy. <laughs> Alright, where am I going to park? Right. 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 right chair. Right chair. Oh, that's not stuck in my head. Oh. Got her little Mickey Mouse ears. No, they sound like a dog. They started calling me the dog filters. The dog filters? <laughs> How did they sound good? All right, y'all. Yeah, y'all want? I'm sure y'all wants to take y'all in the mall with What's us. Okay? Ooh. What? Some lotion. All that water you been in. Ooh, I'm gonna my feet are shit, mama. I need that fish. It's the oil. We ain't bring you got no water plus. shoes. Yep, I sure do. Fish lotion, man. I don't have any, I don't think. All right, let me look for this girl for some lotion. So let's see. Go back. We can go to Bath and Body Works. Yeah. <laughs> my feet. are having like a cheer clinic and so we we're gonna go out there and kind of hang out for a little bit because Earl is at his dad's and his mom's house so I was gonna go over there for a little bit meet him back here and go to the movies well that's out so I think he's on his way back home and we're gonna go and hit the movies again last night we went to see birth of a nation OMG so powerful that was a very powerful movie I recommend you guys go see it I think it's a very good movie Tonight, I want to go see Girl on the Train. I've been wanting to see that, so we're going to actually go see that now. But I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. It's still warm here in Texas. We had a little bit of a cold front that came in um, last month, but now it's, like, warm again. So um, I have on just some um, just some black sandals I got from Nine West, and then I have on a pair of black shorts that I got from um, Walmart. Yeah, they're, I think it's the White Stag brand or whatever. 
And then this blouse I think I got from Forever 21 and has the zipper in the back or whatever. So yeah, and I just kind of donned it with gold accessories. So all I have on basically is my wedding ring and then I have on my Fitbit. I got a new Fitbit because the other one was not doing so well. It was orange and then it started peeling on the side so I got it replaced. And then I have on um, this, it's kind of I guess like my promise ring from Earl a while back. And then I have on my gold Michael Kors loops. And then I got this um, necklace from Forever 21 and then you guys know I always wear my little cubic zirconia. Um, gold chain necklace and that is it and then my makeup um okay I did quite a bit with my makeup because Kayla's kind of teaching me about certain things you know so on my eyes let's see I have a blend of let's see if I can pull some of this stuff out with, without taking too much of um, time away but I have on on my lid nude beige by matisse elite i don't even know where you can get this brand anymore i think i think at the time when i got this the company was going out of business or something like that so i got that on my lid um to blend i have on the matisse elite blush at the top and it's called brick is the color and then in the crease i have on this chocolate brown from mac can't remember the name of it but it's in the crease as you can see and y'all I have been digging digging I thank Carrie my girlfriend so much for introducing me to the physician's formula um, mascara if I can find it yeah the physician's formula where it's like the two it's two things that come in it where it has the eyelash extensions and then the mascara and you put that on to kind of give some extensions to your um, your lashes to make them kind of a little bit longer so I love 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 it then on my lip, I had just went to, um, this is it right here, um, I went to the beauty supply and got this triple butter matte cream called Cream Malicious by Ruby Kisses, and the color is, what color is that? Ooh, yeah, Sipping Wine. It's called Sipping Wine. It's a very dark matte color, but in the middle, I used this that I got, I think, from, um, oh, shoot, what was the name of the little packages that we used to get all the time? I used to do the reviews on them all the time, y'all. I can't think of it. Um, good Lord. Oh, the Ipsy. Ipsy. So I got this from Ipsy, I believe, and it's like a little bit of gold, and I put that in the center to give it like a little mwah, kiss, kissy, kissy look. And, oh, I used this Ruby Kisses No More Blemish Foundation. It's all free. I can wear it all day. Liquid foundation. And I know it's in the color Ebony. This is it right here. And it was only 5 bucks, $4.99. Um, I really like it. I love the finish. Like, I'm not oily. I put um, a little bit of powder on. Oh, and then my powder up under here was um, this banana. Yeah, it's banana, but it's by um, HD Ruby Kisses also. Ruby Kisses has got it going on, y'all. For beauty supply stuff, it's really good. HD, um, it's set and forget. So I put a little bit of that under here. And then I also used that brick by Matisse Elite um, for my blush. And then I tried to do a little bit of contouring guys what do you think what do you think of my makeup please let me know in the comments below but yeah i just kind of sat here and played a little bit in my makeup and uh so now i'm just sitting here waiting on earl so y'all let's go and see what kayla's doing because she's putting on makeup because we thought we were going out to my mom's and that is not gonna happen it is not happening honey not happening at all so um yeah, let's go in here and see what she's doing. I gotta turn on lights as we go. So anyway, she's in here putting on her makeup. Y'all, please don't mind this messy, messy room. Cause this girl here. Can we see what you got so far, please, ma'am? Oh, she's putting on her lashes. I caught her at the most delicate time. Can we pause that music or no? I know. Don't you hate when you do that? Yeah. Let's see what you got so far, ma'am. What kind of lashes are those? I think they're these. 
Where'd you get those ones from? The beauty spot. So these are Almine Remy Lashes in the number 110 if you guys like those lashes. So let's see what you got. Oh, she's still putting them on. You've gotten better, right? Do you know where you're going? No. You still don't know where you're going? Mm -mm. So turn to the right. Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. Now look this way. Oh, is that not supposed to go that quick? Yeah, it's kind of dark. Okay, those are cute. So she's doing her thing. And like I said, I'm waiting on Earl to get home. Jordan's at work. I believe he's at work. And I'm hungry. Don't you hate when you're waiting on somebody and you're hungry and they're far, far, far away? He's far away. And I don't know if I should go and grab me something to eat. But then you know how you want to hold out and wait to eat something at the movies or whatever. So I don't know what to do because I'm hungry. And I, and I know if I lay in that bed, I'm going to end up dozing off and getting myself a nap. So maybe I should just go to sleep, get a nap. That way I keep my mind off of food. But I haven't really eaten much today. Like, I'm kind of glad I got an appetite because earlier when we got finished with the car wash and stuff uh, with the school, I was hungry. I was like, okay, I'm hungry. Got into the mall and totally forgot about food. And then when we left out, I was like, I was really thirsty. So we stopped at Wendy's and got something. And Kayla got herself a frosty and some french fries. I had like maybe, I don't know, two or three french fries. And then when I got home, I was like, oh, I need to take my medication. So I ate this pizza, which I have to tell you guys about. Fathead pizza. Look it up on YouTube. I made uh, fathead pizza th uh, the other night. So I had like a little bit of that. That was in my, um, that I had left over. I had a little bit of that. And I'm like, okay, I didn't even want to eat that. But I ate it because I had to take medicine. And now I'm like really famished like I could go for something good so I don't know I'm gonna see what he wants to do maybe I'll go grab something to eat if he's already eaten and then I can eat and then wait on him so we'll see y'all look how bad this makeup table look this is ridiculous look at this Ridic I gotta really purge my um my uh jewelry tree but this is ridiculous so we're just gonna kind of straighten up a little bit get things back together you don't need everything all everywhere but don't you do y'all's makeup tables get like this it's like you know what you need oh this was a, a good little buy too i bought this today at forever 21 and kayla and i thought it was just going to be like more of a gloss you know uh-uh honey this stuff is so pigmented but it's a very pretty color for us chocolate girls i think for anybody if, i think if you're a, a more um light complected or what like light complexion um you might want to go a little bit lighter on the application but it's really pretty it's called burgundy forever 21 high shine lip gloss really pretty it's only a dollar 90. got me some lotion here don't know why this max freeze is over here i have not been in pain and yeah i just kind of got little containers here and there to kind of clear things up oh and kayla didn't want this color anymore this hd banana so she got she went with the color earth but i actually like that banana i don't know Turned out great for me. So anyway, guys, I'm going to charge up my battery so I can um, um, do some recording when Earl gets here. And then we're headed out to the movies and stuff. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Well, hello, my berries. <laughs> it is Sunday morning. And I am on my way to where? Wally World because I need to get, my brakes are just squeaking. I need to get, uh -oh. there we go again. I don't know what's up with this garage door opener. I don't know what's up with it, but um, it's driving me insane is what it's doing. We just got it. We just got it looked. We just got the darn thing installed. And now it don't want to act right. So now I need to call it girl. So yeah, hold on one second. You connect phone. Ready. It's not even connected. Connected. I bet you because I turned that Bluetooth thing on. So yeah, anyway. Um, we're having a little company over today. 
for football, to watch some football and stuff. I don't even know who's playing, but it's always good to get together for football, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what it is. My Bluetooth is not even connected. It feels so good out this morning. It feels really good. Um, it's not hot at all. It's got a little coolness to it. So, um, make sure that's connected. Now, let's see. Yes. Samsung Galaxy Edge 6. Alright, so we got that taken care of. He's going to let that garage door down. Crazy, crazy. Just, I hate when I have like lots of papers and stuff in my car. I do not like that at all. Stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make um, some actually kind of. Good lord, why is all these tissues in here? What's this? Um, hey, we're leaving all her stuff in my car. Um, I'm gonna go and get some stuff to make pizzas today, but they're gonna be healthy pizzas, and no one's gonna be the wiser, maybe except for Earl. Um, so I'm gonna make maybe like two or three different pizzas. I'm gonna make a pepperoni one. Um, maybe I'll make two pepperonis because people like pepperoni and then I'll make um, one with um, like Italian sausage peppers and onions because I love that that style of a pizza so yeah um, I think I'll do that and then um, uh, and then I'm gonna I think I want to make a like a queso dip I think I want to make like a cheese dip or something like that and, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do something like that, like a queso dip. And what I've been, what I'm getting ready to focus on, guys, is low-carb, high-fat diet. Um, to get my body to start burning the fat and not so much muscle. Um, what is that smell? It smells like tar or something being laid somewhere. It's really strong but anyway so um, what I'm gonna use for my chips today instead of using chips I'm going to use um, pork rinds um, because you don't have to worry about the carbs in those so I can eat as good um, carbs um, as I want um, and um, and not have to really work. I can eat as many, uh, as much fat as I want and not, you know, eat anything that's carb loaded. Um, it's going to help a lot. So, yeah, um, like I said, I'm going to make this pizza. It's called Fathead Pizza. Go on YouTube and Google it. It's really good. I think Felicia Nurse or something like that. I think that's her name. Felicia and Felicia Ann Nurse or something like that. She has, like, to me, the best. Uh, YouTube video for Fathead Pizza. So look at that one. Um, if I can find the link, uh, I'll put I'll post it below so you guys can just go ahead and click on it. But oh my God, when I tell y'all, super easy, super easy making your own homemade pizza and delicious. I am not kidding you one bit. I'm not. I actually took I I made one uh, Wednesday night. Because I actually had to go shopping for my boss's wife's uh, birthday. And I went shopping, got home, watched Empire with uh, Jordan. And then after Empire wasn't feeling so well, I think my blood sugar, well, I know my blood sugar was really, really low. And so I had to like eat something and just lay there and let it take its course. But after that, I actually got up after that, which was around 9 o'clock, and made a pizza like in no time. No time at all. I took some of the pizza to work. And I had three of my coworkers try it. They absolutely loved it. So it is really good. And the only ingredients you need to make the crust is mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, almond flour, which is not uncommon. So I know you're probably thinking, where the heck am I going to get almond flour? You probably could get it at Walmart if you go to like, you know that, um, gosh, I think it's red meal or something like that he this guy he carries all these different products but like if you go look in the healthy section i bet you you can find it um almond flour but where i got it from was uh on amazon because i didn't know any better you know because i think i actually went to costco the night before 
golly, all these smells in the air. It's like a skunk. Um, I didn't know any better. And when I went to Costco, big old bag of almond flour. Um, so I ordered almond flour, coconut flour, coconut oil, all those different types of things to make different, um, to make different, uh, recipes and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different recipes that I want to make, you know, um, had I not been kind of busy yesterday, I probably would have went out and bought more ingredients because I want to make these chocolate frosted donuts that I saw, um, on there. But anyway, yeah. Okay. So the ingredients you need it for the crust, it's mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, almond flour, and eggs. That's it. Four ingredients to make a fabulous crust that doesn't taste like cardboard. It's not stiff. It's actually thick and chewy and delicious. And then you put whatever kind of topping you want on your crust. So you put some type of, um, you know, you try to look at your ingredients and make sure they're very, very, very low carb or no carb. So if you want to put some type of tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce or something like that, you really have to check out those uh, spaghetti sauces because they have a trace. They have like maybe 13 grams of um, carbs per serving, but um, when you just put on just a little bit, it's not that bad. And especially if you're going to, you know, split it throughout the entire pizza, it's not really that bad or that big of a deal. I'm not going to be a fanatic about, um, low carb, but I am going to cut back on my carbs. That's for sure. I'm not going to be eating a lot of carbs because even as a diabetic, I don't even need it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And I think we're going to do, we're going to put some, uh, chicken legs on the grill. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make like a queso dip is what I want to make, but I just don't like Velveeta and I just want to make sure that my, my queso dip comes out the way I want it. So I may have to look up a recipe or something like I make queso. I have made queso myself, but sometimes either I get it just right where it's smooth or sometimes it comes out a little bit of like grainy or something. So I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's like if I'm doing it correctly. And I think it's the flour or something. Sometimes I use like, and see, I can't do that because I'm trying to go a little carb. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to see what I can find here in the store and then just pick up a few other items and then head out. Cause I got to get home and make sure I get everything, um, cooked before uh, my brother and um, his fiance shows up. So yeah. That's it, it's my friends. I'm gonna do this really, really fast, and then I'll be on my way back home. All right, I will talk to you guys in a few.